yo, COVID we had until, issues. My wife and I, we, we we say this all the time. You know, we have a counselor. So we we big on marriage. Yeah, we big yeah, on marriage. Yeah. Um, even though I'm a pastor, and mm-hmm. and uh, you know, there's you know these different things that you hear about. You know, they after this want to be this, and uh, it's whatever God called me to do. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm yeah. following God, but um, because I always say this. I don't want a stove. I mean, a, a mega church and a stovefront marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've seen that so in the church where people so, so want to just build the ministry. You no, know, they but that's that's flesh. Yeah. You Come know, on I now. Want to be a superstar? Come on now. But I ain't no star but Jesus. All right. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I tell people all the time it's a building. I, mm-hmm. I, the word ecclesia means to be called you know, out like from among them. Out. That's right. We we ecclesia. we have to teach people to understand that God resides in them, but you do not forsake the semblance of yourself. So right. I get that part, That's you know right. what I mean? Yeah. But we want to make sure, like I told Reverend Rodney Taylor, shout out to Reverend Rodney. He said, man, why don't you come up here and, man, you could come up here and teach at my place, man, and the church, I think he in Oak Cliff somewhere. Okay. I said, let me tell you something, man. Why don't you bring all those guys here? I shut the store down and did all of them can come in here mm. and we could just talk about God. Cause I want to take them out of their comfort zone. Yeah, I want to yeah. show them that God's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. See, see, cause Jesus, when he, he say, man, the harvest is plentiful. Yeah, but the, the labors, labors are few. few. I think we need to try to educate our people more. Right. And I think COVID shook people out of their oh, comfort man, zone. Yeah. See, because they had yeah. to get out here and deal with it on their That's own. Right. It, it was a lot of people that they had a, even me and you, you yeah. had to step and stare at each other for a minute. Yeah. Like we got to deal with these kids and family and, and yeah. our issues now. Yeah, yeah, Co- yeah we got issues. My wife and I, we, we we say this all the time. You know, we have a counselor. So we we big on marriage. Yeah, we big yeah, on marriage. Yeah. Um, even though I'm a pastor, and mm-hmm. and uh, you know, there's you know these different things that you hear about, about you know they after this want to be this and uh, it's whatever God called me to do. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm yeah. following God, but um, because I always say this. I don't want a stove. I mean, a, a mega church and a stovefront marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've seen that so in the church where people so, so want to just build the ministry. You no, know, they but that's that's flesh. Yeah. You know, Come on I now. Want to be a superstar? Come on now. But ain't no star but Jesus. All right. But now. you know they so and they leave their family behind. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing I say I'll never do because that's my first ministry. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. I do anything else, that's my first mm-hmm. ministry. So my wife and I, we uh, we started a counseling center. Okay. And uh, now, you know, I'm certified, even though it comes with the territory. I've been doing, you know, counseling, you know, there'd be my members or whatsoever. But we took it to another level where I get certified. Now I certify people that want to empower other couples and get their certification. And now my wife, like I said, she's getting a master's right, right now. Yeah. She's already got a bachelor's okay. of Christian counseling. She got more degrees than at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> But, but that's what but it yeah, takes, but, man. But, because but, I always that's tell what people is yeah. that everyday struggle, we are all human beings. And yeah. no matter what and no matter how someone's relationship or someone look perfect from the outside, whether it be a pastor or might just be a, a great couple that's been together mm-hmm. forever, and they're like, oh, my God, they look so in love. Yeah. Oh. They don't realize that you're going to have your ups and downs no matter who you are. Yep. And it's an everyday struggle because the devil is going to attack you every single day. Every day. And even those mega preachers that have the big, you know, and have, the, as you said, the storefront marriages, mm-hmm. they started out not – like that but they graduated yeah. into that because yes. the everyday struggle defeated them right. instead of them trying to defeat that right. every single yeah. day yeah I get so it. that's really yeah. what it is that's good yeah. stuff you know and, and covid like you said covid uh, my wife said it exposed a lot it of did. things it did it right did. now i mean our our business have went up and and that I've been talking about the church right now, but I'm talking about the marriages and our council. I mean, we get calls every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now people is trying to see who they are, really are when they got married. Yeah, yeah. You know, they haven't been they've been at home for like mm-hmm. what, about a year now. They're working yeah, from home, yeah, and yeah. now they got to face each other. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the kids and all that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you you got to you got to be you got to have a personal relationship. You got to be deeply yeah. rooted. The one thing I like about you is the fact that. You, you say y'all are counseling, and I know that y'all love God. And mm-hmm. so many people counsel, but they don't know God. And right. I, I try to tell people all the time, God is your counsel when you get caught up in the wrong situation. Because mm-hmm. 
if a counselor don't believe and he don't understand God, you know what I mean? I right. don't know. I don't think I want to be counseled by him. Yeah. I'm being yeah. real, but it's I a know. lot of them out here. And people are telling lot. everybody about mental illness yeah. and they want to tell everybody you got to get counseling and they don't put God in it. Don't and I can't play with that when it comes to what God has brought me through. Yeah. So when I see you and you talking about, and she'll tell you how mm -hmm. I am. If you come on here talking about your, you're a counselor, mm -hmm. you go to a counselor, mm -hmm. who do we believe in? Yeah. Because yeah, I'm a believer. Now, yeah. I ain't telling me you got to do what I do. Right. But I'm right. just telling you, I don't get down with just anybody talking to right. me and putting things in my spirit. Yeah, you got to be very, very careful and have some discernment. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, we we just been blessed where, you know, people have been calling all over DFW. And yeah. um, right now, like I said, my wife and I, we've been doing it for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. and uh, And so when they call, they like, you know, we really just like your spirit. And, yeah. uh, and everyone that, that had said that, you know, we saved their marriage. Wow. But God said, we just help them. You just like help my wife, well, like my wife and I said, we always tell them, we just the coaches. Mm -hmm. Y'all the players, y'all in the game. We just cheering y'all on the sideline yeah, and trying yeah, yeah. to navigate and guide y'all. Yeah. Yeah. We are just a vessel able. that God uses. Right. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen yeah. to that. Yeah. But it's, it's so crazy the way how, um, yes, pandemic has affected a lot of people because it had to slow everybody down. Mm -hmm. This world is designed not by God to go so fast. Everybody's mm -hmm. moving so fast that they forget about the most important things, which is the family, the us time, building relationships, having, mm -hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, if you lose your job, who are you? What do you have? Yeah. People are so, I'm going to school, I'm going to work, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and not, and by the time you turn around, your kids are grown, you didn't spend <laughs> that much time with them. And I've always said, I didn't realize these things till I lost my dad. Mm. Because when I lost my dad, um, I started to think about what is it about him that I remember. And okay. I was blessed to always, I was a tomboy, so I went hunting with him, fishing with him, all of that. My brothers didn't. Oh, okay. But I was the one who wanted to do everything with him, and I remember all of these things that I did with him. Mm. And so I started thinking about, okay, I want my kids to think of me that way, yeah. to think of us that way, to right. be able to say, oh, we did this together, we did that together, because we spent that time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're raised here in the States to say, okay, Create a good life for your kids. Work, work, work. Make all this money so that you can have something to leave for them. Mm -hmm. That's monetary stuff. Right. At the end of the day, they can lose all of that when yeah. you die. The and thing you said that was important was it, it designed not by God. Not by God. Right. So right. that that's the part was <laughs> yeah. what you got to get. You got to understand the the. I always say you got to understand the difference between the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. error. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if right. you don't understand how to discern that, then mm -hmm. you can get lost quickly in the sauce. Yeah. Because a lot of people, they, they get lost in error because yeah. there's, a ero there's an erotic spirit out here mm -hmm. right. that teaches people the wrong way, that project God the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's, it, the Bible says for such a false apostles, mm -hmm. transforming themselves into the apostles of mm -hmm. Christ. Yeah. And no marvel for Satan himself is changed into an angel of right. light. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers be transformed also. Yeah. So we know that this stuff is happening. We know that people are put in places to try to take away from the things that God would have us to do. Yes, sir. So we have to be focused enough to understand the spirit of truth. Right. If we don't have that, mm -hmm. then we're not connected. Exactly. See, but see you that, that, word but that, but, but that. even if you're in the word, you can be misled. When no, you look you at, when you look yeah. at Romans chapter 10, mm -hmm. he said they had a zeal for God, but not according to the knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people you can, got zeal. You can have a zeal for God and be really thinking you're doing something the right way for God right. and totally be yeah. off base. Yeah. Solomon said in Proverbs, it's called ignorant zeal. See? So, and Paul, so zeals is good, but you got to know how to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people thought they was really connected right. to God, yeah. and they wasn't. And you know, I when think, I think about that, I think about, you know, you're growing up, whether in the church or in the building, mm -hmm. and, you know, you're raised a certain way, and you have that love for God because that's what you they placed they, in they you. They told right. you about right. it. But then mama as told a you kid, about it. But mm -hmm. as a kid. Like, but you so never got it for yourself. Mm -hmm. but, like, but mama told you about it. Yeah. Right. But as a kid, like, I'm only talking about me personally. Okay. I was not sitting down studying and getting a revelation with God through his word. Mm -hmm. I was just listening going to church, it. listening to the preacher and just, you know getting, you know, bits and pieces here and there, but right. until you can pick up that book for yourself and That's study it, it, That's it. and really realize what God is saying to you. Yeah. Then and 
what he was saying to them, whether it be to the Paul was saying to the Ephesians, to the Colossians, you know, yeah, and then try to relate it to today's society, to your life, then you're not going to really right. have the knowledge. Exactly. You're going to have the zeal mm-hmm. because you know what's wrong from right, what's good and bad. Mm-hmm. You're going to have that zeal and love for God, but you won't have the knowledge to back up your everyday. And that's a, and that's a bad thing because the Bible says my people are destroyed for the lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. That's true. Right. So that's, that's not true. a good thing. That's a bad thing because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you can be destroyed for not knowing yeah, who, who you are in your Lord and Savior. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. It's important. It's important. It's your, if your life depended on it, if you knew you had, wasn't gonna have nothing to eat for the next seven days, you wouldn't be sitting here acting like you were good. <laughs> You'd be trying to get in the frantic to find something to eat. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, because this thing is not tangible but spiritual, right? It it, it, it confuses yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. You they see what I'm tapped saying? into that spiritual <laughs> side. Yeah, and people don't realize, that, you know, there is a spiritual side. Of this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you and what you feed the most is what's going on. So exactly. The most. So if you just feeding your flesh, mm. that's all you're doing. So so when things like this, a pandemic comes, uh-huh. you know, you're all like, you know, out of back, out of yeah. balance, and everything. Yeah. But when you are feeding your spirit, and you know that God said these things, these signs and things are going to come, then you know you don't you don't you have not given us the spirit of fear, right. You know, so exactly you're going to have fear because we're human. You know, even Jesus, when he was at the Garden of Gethsemane, because he was uh, walking in human flesh as well as he was 100 percent God, 100 percent man. But in the flesh, he said he fear came over. All right. Because when he said, Lord, let this cup be passed, that was fear talking. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. then he transferred his fear to faith because he said, nevertheless, Amen. not my will, but let thy will be. So when we as believers understand, you know, sometimes fear will come in, but just you only just for that second. But yeah. the, you got to learn how to transfer that into faith. Amen. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.